Thank you, Shazia, for that report. And yes, indeed, we hope that member states will sit down and come up with a solution because those images are not a good sight. Now, President William Ruto and Sudan leader General Abdel Fattah El Burhan met at State House Monday evening. The meeting comes barely six months after El Burhan led an onslaught against President Bhutto over the ongoing conflict in neighboring Sudan. In the Monday meeting, that significantly eased tensions that had built up between the two regional leaders. The sec security situation and the urgent need for a solution was discussed. Ketian's political affairs reporter David Muthoka has details of that meeting between President Ruto and General Al Burhan, who until recently could not see eye to eye. On Monday, Sudan leader General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan flew to Nairobi to meet President William Ruto. General Al Burhan's trip to Kenya came just months after he led a fierce onslaught against President Ruto, who chairs a quartet formed by IGAD to mediate peace in Sudan, accusing Ruto of siding with his nemesis. RSF leader Mohamed Hamdani in the ongoing Sudan conflict. The trip also comes days after President Ruto and General Al Burhan briefly met on the sidelines of the Saudi Africa summit in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, a meeting that had been arranged following a series of back channels between Nairobi and Khartoum. General Al Burhan was hosted by President Ruto's State House, where the two held lengthy bilateral talks over the security situation in Sudan and in the process is in the tension that had simmered between the two leaders for months. Soon after the meeting, President Ruto released a statement in which the two leaders recognized the slow progress of the Jeddah peace process. Not in the urgent need to find a solution and avert a further loss of lives and property, President Ruto and General Al Burhan agreed to work towards convening an urgent IGAD summit to find ways to accelerate the Jeddah process towards the cessation of hostilities and humanitarian assistance. The two leaders also agreed that a framework for an all-inclusive Sudanese dialogue will be discussed at the summit. The violent conflict in Sudan broke out in April this year and has so far left more than 9,500 people dead and 3 million others displaced. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. Yeah, and Romania have signed four major memoranda of understanding at State House Nairobi. Among the deals inked by President William Ruto and his Romanian counterpart President